Hey guys, how's it going? My Boxley here, and uh, today we have another Pioneer video. Hopefully we're not going to go 1 and 4 this time, but you never know. Uh, we're doing my favorite archetypes, which is Feather. I have her in EDH, I played her in Standard, really big fan of Feather. Uh, it's a very simple game plan, you have all these buff spells, so you have, let me get these up, buff spells, buff spells and protection... All of these things can target your creatures. Uh, same with Boris Charm, technically. And our plan is just to buff our dudes, get our spells back with Feather, and kill them. The Fine Strike draws a card, it makes it bigger. With Feather, you can draw a card every single turn for one mana, which is really, really nice. Johnny's Presence, your stuff can't die. God's Willing Protection, your stuff can't die. Plus one, plus one counters. Deal four to their thing. Our thing lives because two damage doesn't kill our stuff. Uh, heroic, this guy gets bigger. It doesn't kill it. This guy's going to be a 2-3. Doesn't kill it. Doesn't kill it. So a really good removal spell there. Uh, Ryle just deals one damage to our creature against Trample. Makes our big threats get through when we need it to. Titan Strength, plus three, plus one, and Scry one. Just all really efficient creatures and spells. Uh, yeah, let's just get in one of these games. My first time playing this actual deck. Uh, but I've played a lot of Feather decks before. We're in Pioneer, right? Yeah, okay. I don't want to join a Modern League with Pioneer deck. That would not be a good time. Also, we have our uh, baby Yoda here with us, cheering us on inside our little pocket. So it's always a plus. Baby Yoda can see a line that we cannot. Alright, let's get this first match going. Also, feel free to leave in the comments what decks you guys think I should try. Any ideas you guys have for decks, I will definitely check them out and play them. Because I love playing a different deck every time. Alright, we won the dice roll. We like to play first. Uh, we have a one drop. A land to cast it. A few buff spells. That seems fine. Uh, if he goes turn one fatal push, I'll be really upset. But I think we keep this either way. Uh, we'll take one. So I half light. The good news is our half light gets really big really fast and it prevents damage. So if it lives for a turn, we'll be okay. Uh, we have a kill spell for whatever they... Oh no, don't fatal push it. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, they had to be a black deck with Fatal Push in their hand. Uh, the good news is we can cycle these. The good news is we can cycle our Defiant Strikes if they play anything. Uh, they'll probably take one here, though. Unless they're that scared of Reckless Rage. We can't even cast Reck Reckless Rage, so. You know, sometimes it, it, I've always compared these decks to Infect in a way. Where, like, you need one creature and you need that creature to go all the way. Um, it doesn't always work, though. Sometimes you just get blown out turn one, so. Mr. Scoozy Woozy. We're going to buff that Scoozy Woozy up then. We're going to cycle this draw card. We're going to cycle this draw card. Okay. Alright, so we're going to play the Arcanist here. I side. Oh, he only has one green, so I can't really eat all of our stuff. Um, we could technically Reckless Rage as the scavenging news now, but if we lose the Arcanist, we're probably losing the game, so we're just going to hold up God's Willing and hopefully let it live. Because if it goes, like, end of turn Fatal Push, we can God's Willing it. The only bad part is we lose our cards in our graveyard, so he's less effective, but should be fine. Come on, Arcanist, you can do it. We are not going to block there. That seems like a really bad block for us. End of turn, if he doesn't do anything, we're going to untap. One thing about these decks is you always want protection up. As you guys saw, turn one. We had no protection up. We lost our dude. And that's just the way how it goes. Um, so here we are going to Reckless late Rage before we attack. Try to kill his dude before he can eat all of our stuff in response.
Swift end. I will attempt a God's willing in response. If he's got a fatal push, he'll get blown out either way, which is upsetting. Please don't have a double fatal push. All right, cool. He does not. Uh, protection from black, please. We will keep Defiant Strike on top. All right, and we will get in there. Oh, no! We didn't get in there! Um... Punt! Punt! So that would have happened either way, right? Like, our guy would have died there, but we would have had uh, two extra cards. Because we would have flashbacked this Defiant Strike, and we would have cast this Defiant Strike. So we would have seen more cards, but, uh... Accidents happen on Moto. Accidents happen. It's going to be a rough way to lose this match, but accidents happen, so... Oh, God, that's so upsetting. That is so upsetting. I, I apologize, everybody. If we draw any creature, though... Oh, he's just taking Defiant Strikes, and any creature doesn't really help. If we draw the Hasty 2-2, two -two, we can make it a 5, which is... Okay. If we draw any creature, we can kill this Questing Beast. Bigger guy, bigger. Okay, that's not what we want to see. And, like, the best about Defiant Strikes, as you guys see here, is you can just cycle it on their creatures just to start drawing more cards if this happens. Uh, we are a lot farther behind than we should be, but I think we're losing this game either way. Even with that misclick. I think end of his turn, or uh, Titan Strength, one of his guys, just to try to make these reckless rages do something. Um, so we'll go down to three, and then if we draw a creature, he might be okay. He's got one land in hand that we know about. End of your turn. I'm going to Titan Strength that guy. Another land is not what we want to see. Creature. Okay, we got a creature. Uh, let's make a stop during his upkeep and do it during his upkeep, I guess. I guess we'll see what he draws, too. So I guess we want it in his draw stuff, technically. Well, actually, no. Let's see. So he's in a... It's gonna take four here to draw this card. He's got another questing beast on top. That's fine. That's actually fine. Yeah, so you're gonna draw that questing beast. You have an overgrown tomb on top. We don't want you to cast that. Kill one of your questing beasts. Ah, uh, I guess we shouldn't have killed the questing beast because it's legendary. Oh my god, all the misplays. We know he's got another Questing Beast in hand. We should have let this Questing Beast live. Um, it looks like, again, it doesn't matter, but we are just playing very, very badly right now. Ugh. So we made a bunch of mis mis uh, misplays that turn. It doesn't actually matter, but... Uh, the good news is we get two Fiend Slayer Paladins in. Uh, we get two Apostles in. Just, just Pro Black is always just, like, great to see against these Black decks. Uh, we don't need that. Wild Slash doesn't seem that good. Boris Tribe might be okay. Uh, I don't think we need that. So what was not good in this matchup? Wild Slash does not seem to be needed. Um, I think I got one Titan Strength as well. We probably don't need the Boris Charm. Two more cards to cut. Uh... Reckless Rage seems good to kill, like, all the big dumbos. Do we really need Trample? I draws a card either way. That's something we want to keep. I just want to kind of cut these uh, these Titan Strengths, to be honest. I just don't think that's the plan we want to be on right now. Right. Game two. This hand is an easy mulligan. Uh, this hand is better... It is weak against the removal, but I don't think we want to go down to five. Grid for Battle is one of those cards that I'm always on the fence with. Like, it never seems good enough, but when it's good, it's insane. 
Like, Grit is, like, right there on the, like, really good, the really bad scale. It's so weird. If you guys turn with Thoughtseize us, we're pretty bad. Let's take off our upkeep and draw steps. We don't need those anymore. Alright, God's Willing. All right, we just gotta dodge a Thoughtseize here. If we dodge a Thoughtseize, we can do this with God's Willing back up, and we'll be off to the races at that point. But if he has the Thoughtseize, we need to draw another creature. Okay, we are off to the races. <laughs> Next time we can minus face Twist Spear and Grip for Battle both of our creatures, making them both very big. So we'll have a 3 3, let's describe one. Oh, does he even know the Fatal Push? Oh, no, he can't. Then they're stabbed. I've been playing way too much modern. I was like, oh god, he just fetched for another fatal push, but no, we're fine. Uh, do I want another land? I don't think we need the fourth land right now, so we'll bottom that. Uh, pro black, please. I don't think we want another land still, so we'll bottom that one as gun. It's so nice that God's willing and this guy lets us scry. Scry and one twice that turn just helps us so much. Liliana, okay. Liana's a dead, dead girl. Right, so, Swift Spear into Grid. We're just going all in right now. We're going all in on these guys. Uh, always yield, always yield. Uh, land, we still do not want another land. And then, let's go ahead and Defiant Strike this one so we can scry one before we draw a card. Uh, Reckless Rage, I'm going to keep on top in case they have a creature we may need to kill next turn. Right, uh, do we care about Liliana? I think we want to kill Liliana. Um, how does it change our clock? I don't think it does. So he goes to 12. We can put him to 12 or we can put him to 8. Uh, maybe just putting him to 8 is better, but this is minus 2, minus 1. We'll, we'll kill Liliana here. I'm not sure if it's right or not, but we're going to kill Liliana. Next time we can Boris Charm this guy for lethal, if he lives. Or we can just, like, indestructible our team and just basically kill him. Noxious Grasp, okay. Okay. A Johnny's Presence. Any number of creatures are plus 1, plus 1, indestructible. Uh, so we can attack for two, make it four, make it ten. Ten is not lethal. I think we just attack with two and we're fine with that. Leave up Boris Charm and Johnny's Presence. Just to make sure this Whisper doesn't die. I'm okay with playing a little safer this time. An upkeep fatal push. We will a Johnny's presence in response. Make our dude a four or five. Abrupt decay. Okay, we, we played that well. I'm proud of us. We uh, we played that well. We kept our Swiss spear alive. We will put him down to six. If he's got another kill spell, he's got another kill spell. I gotta give him that. If he's got more, he's got more. And I think we just won. We will kill his dude. Uh, three, four, five. We only have five damage right now. Uh, so we'll put him to one here. Right, we are. This is what we got. We put in the one. And this is what we got. Can he stop it? Does he have two kill spells or two blockers or he does not? Do I agree with our sideboarding? Uh, I think this is fine. I the, I know the Boris Charm might be good just for like the indestructible like we did that game. But we have so much pro black in our deck now. I think we're fine. I don't think we need that extra Boris Charm. Let's see a mulligan. 
He also mulliganed, though. Uh, this is a great hand. It's probably the best hand we've seen all, all day. It's only been one match, but still. Um, let's get rid of... This, my initial is tap no matter what, so yeah, we'll get rid of that one. We don't have a mountain or planes in our hand. We need untap, untap, so... Turn one, Swiss Spear. Turn two, Hop Light into good for battle, maybe? Or we just keep up with Johnny's presence? He is on five cards, though, so he's probably got thoughts he's turn one. No? Maybe Fatal Push turn one? We shall see what he's got. Swiss Spear. Swing on in there for one. And it connects. Okay. Okay, sure. So with that guy dead, we are going to shock ourselves and double hop light. Hop, hop. Can I miss Theros, dude? Theros is one of my favorite sets. I also just love these kind of like target all your stuff decks. Uh, so we're not going to target anything this turn. Because if we can untap with Jet Horde... We can grid for battle, attack, grid for battle again. Just make our guys huge. So we're gonna Johnny's presence, whatever he wants to kill. A scoozy woozy. Okay. Grid for battle, those two. Uh, I'm thinking if we want to, like, Boris Charm and give one of our dudes Double Strike, if that's better. So, like, give that, give this guy Double Strike. Actually, attack first, because Boris Charm is instant speed. But, like, we could give our both of our guys Double Strikes that I was thinking, but... So this is five. Make make this twelve damage with double strike. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's not lethal, so I don't think we need to do it. It's so tempting though, but I think it's uh, that's gonna be a no for me. Do it this turn though and go for the win. I think we have enough backup too. I think we want to double. I think we want to deal for him now. Oh, but if we do it now, he knows we have it. So I'm just trying to think because if we do it now, we'll just block it. Um, this one of Johnny's presence. Yeah, it's just Johnny presence here. Just so when we attack with Jet Horde, we can Johnny Presence here too. And just get the plus one plus one on all our dudes. Noxious Grass, Permanent Attack Control again, Indestructible. Alright, we won. Nice, we got the round one. We did it. Oh. Dude, I miss playing these feather type decks. They're one of my favorite archetypes. Just heroic and Theros, I love to play. Feather and Standard, I have Feather and EDH. I don't even like EDH, but I built a feather deck just for EDH. And I'm very curious about how strong this deck actually is. It looks sweet because like everything costs one or two mana. It's just kind of fragile. Uh, like hands like this, I think think we're supposed to keep and just hope they don't have turn one removal spell. <coughs> Hop light go. Also we drew the dream feather. Blue white control. Okay. Oh, not blue white control. Never mind. I lied. Uh, yeah, let's just kill the dude here. I love Reckless Rage so much. Such an awesome card. Uh, let's hold up a Johnny's presence here as well. Or we could get in a lot. Let's get into the damage. You know what? I don't think this blue white deck has a way to kill this guy. 
Let's just get in that damage, dude. Another land on top so we can cast Feather next turn. You take six, pass turn. So next turn we have a land, we can Boris Charm and the Johnny's Presence to give a double strike, or we can just Feather. Really spends what he's gonna do here. Selfless Spirit. So let's start off by attacking by three. Attacking with three, I should say. I'm just gonna block. Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, play Feather. Not if we untap with Feather. So untapping with Feather almost always means GG if you have any kind of spells in your hand. Because you just get to abuse all your one drops. Reflector Mage. Boo. Boo. Right, we could grid for battle there before combat. I don't see a reason to. Might as well save it for Feather. No block. So we can do three. Four, five, win. That's how math works, right? Three, four from this, five from target, six. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm assuming this is how math works. So it becomes a five power. Uh, target creature gains double strike, red or white. And that is 12 damage. We did it. Okay, so blue white, kind of like tempo y, maybe spirit stuff. You definitely want wild slashes. Um, we might want swift justice because it might be a blocking deck. We might want to block their stuff. Uh, what do we not want against them? Uh, I'm going to cut one good for battle. Cut one God's Willing. Cut the Ajani's Presence. Again, I don't think they have like much interaction with us. Cut one Titan Strength. I'm not a big fan of these like Titan Strength type cards, but they're like they're great game one. They're great to blow people out with, and I think just like this is better. Boris Charm, honestly. Let's put back in the God's Willing. Cut a Boris Charm. I think Boris Charm is fine. It just it won us that game, but there might be better stuff. Dude, I love Pioneer so much. Such a great format. So many things you can do. So many different strategies. So many decks to explore. Uh, this hand is great. We got a switch Swift Justice. Sadly, it doesn't draw a card, but like everything else on it's just great. We both cap seven. This should be a good game. Ooh, he doesn't have a one drop though. Feels bad, man. So I normally hate playing like red and white, I would say, are my least two favorite colors. I hate red, I hate white. I am a salt eye guy for life. But Feather just has that special place in my heart that I will always love. Okay, so here we can do Swift Spear and Hoplite. Or we can just do 10th District Leader. I think it's more damage to do these two into this. So that's what we're going to do. So attack with these two, bluff that we have a combat spell. Like we have a combat, we're not going to use the combat spell, let's be honest. Hey, we, we're okay with the, him having the Thraven Inspector. And then we will play uh, Hoplite. We reveal the plane, so we know he has one land for unknowns. Deputy! Wah, 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 wah. Um, so I think we want to play 10th District Legionnaire here. And just hope that he blocks with the Deputy for some reason. If he doesn't, we get uh, 3 damage in. Okay, that's fine. That is okay. 
Because like, we don't really have that many spells for uh, Dread Heart Arcanist right now anyway, so there's no point to just like throw it out there when we can potentially get him to block. White creature spells cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, make a 1-1. One -one. Oh, I remember this, this card from Standard. That was an annoying deck to play against. This might also be an annoying deck to play against. We shall see. This guy's got Trample, so he's going to be at, uh, MVP. 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 Uh, so do I want to attack into the Selfless Spirit? I think I do. Let's attack like this into it. If you block, we obviously just Swift Justice our guy. Our guy lives, his guy dies. We gain some life. No, we don't gain any life because he's going to sack in response. Uh, that's okay too, though. Just eat up the 1-1 one -one tokens while we can. This makes it so he can't attack us back either. Because if he attacks with his 1-3, we just buff our dude and trade. Or not trade, but kill it. I'm like all mobile jumbled right now. Sack the clue, draw a card, play a planes. Burgle. Bugler. Okay. What are we going to reveal here? What are we drawing? Reflector Mage. Sure. Giant Killer. Now that is going to be annoying for us. Giant Killer will be annoying. So I'm glad we got we kept the God's Willings in because Pro White here just blows them out so hard. Grid for battle. Uh, let's grid for battle. I think I want the counters on Genhard Arcanist to be honest. I think I do. So let's go like that. God, I want them big so we can trample through for lethal. God's willing. That's what I was talking about. We want that on top for sure. Uh, if we attack here, one, two, three, four. He would have to block with everything to kill our Dread Horde. So I think we're fine with attacking. So he's got Reflective Mage in hand. So we got to like do this now while we can. Target those two again. So like if Reflective Mage is the Dread Horde, obviously. Um, that's fine with us because we'll have a big dude out here. Sadly, the 6-6 does not have Trample, so it's just a 1-1 one, one chump blocking every turn until they can God's Willing it in for lethal. Which, 6, 7, 8, we can swing for 9 next turn with it. <coughs> oh! Alright, so we can do 4 damage, right? We can do 4 damage. Then we put it like that and kill... Oh no, we don't kill anything because he just sacks Selfless Spirit. One, two, three, four, five. I forgot about Selfless Spirit. That's okay, though, right? Like, I think that's fine. We obviously made a mistake. Make him do it, at least. That feels bad, dude. It feels bad. Oh, well. I made a mistake. Uh, I... So, do we just, like, not attack at all there? We just pass? It also feels bad, though. So, now he gets to tap our dude, swing for two, three, four, five damage. Uh, about to get blown out here by something. See what he's got. What you got, opponent? No, you just let me get my two switches back? Okay. Okay. I don't think we want to attack with anything here. Yeah, then we just pass. We could God's Willing on an attack for three, but it doesn't seem worth it. We can't cast this because there's Reflector Mage. So next time we cast this and we can just try to reset again. I 
Another Reflector Mage. Okay, there goes the Hotline, I'm assuming. Oh, a Swiss Spear, really? Okay, and then you're going to tap this and swing for two, four, five, six, seven, coming down to seven. Or no. Oh, let's kill a 1 1 here. Let's just kill a 1 1. I don't want to use God's Willing yet. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Charming Prince, scry two, gain three life, exile the creature. Oh no, he's gonna bounce his reflector mage. I might have to use God's willing here to stay alive then. I think I'm gonna use God's willing on my Swiss spear, or whatever he targets. Oh, is he? Oh, so he's going for pure value here. He's not even going for like the kill. He just wants pure value. Sure. What is he going to find? Another bugler? Sure, sure. A land is not what we are hoping for there, but that's fine. God's really now do anything? No, it doesn't. It just shows we have it. So next turn he taps that, swings with everything, we block one take, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, so we're dead. We're big dead. I'm thinking bouncing his reflector mage was the better play though. Just bounce all of our stuff there. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What well, we have been scrying into a land. Okay, two lands. Uh, do you want any of this stuff? Do you want to change anything? I don't think so. We could bring in Pithy Needle for his uh, Tappy Dude. I don't think it's worth it though. I think we just keep it the same and run it back again. I don't think Pithy Needle and Giant Hunter is where we want to be right now. Is Giant Hunter annoying? Yes. Is it worth a Pithy Needle? I don't think so. I don't think so. And have you guys seen the, uh, the full art temples? And they look sweet. Uh, look at these things. Look how sweet these look. I love it. I just think these look amazing. Full art. Just beautiful art. Temple of the Sea, I love a lot. Temple of Abandon, that's a great red green land. Even the blue, like, I just love them all. They're all just like, I want them. I want them all. I want them now. I'm also a huge foil slash, like, full art guy. So I just love that you have so many more choices for them. Opponent is doing some thinking for game three. Deciding if he wants to change his deck, I'm assuming. And he has decided. Okay, let's do it. Let's rumble. Uh, this hand is slow, but we have lands. We have a two drop. I think we keep it. It's a little on the slower side, but I don't want to mull anything down to six. This hand is very playable, and I think it can win. He is mulligan to six. We're all out of G Fuel. That is a sad, sad time. And he has kept his six. Okay. If we can find our wild slashes, this would be a lot better of a matchup too. I just realized we haven't found a wild slash yet. Reckless Rage, another great card against him. We will swing on in there for two. Next to nothing, we can swing in for five, play another one of Reckless Rage's threat. 
Um, and then we should be in a good position. I think this is the deck I'm going to build in Pioneer moving forward. I was on Soul Flare, but this is a lot more my play style. He's in a Scry 2. Okay. What are we doing? The Scry 2. What are we doing? We are thinking. Yeah, so a bunch of my friends are going to the Kentucky Grand Prix, which is Pioneer. And I am debating if I want to go. I know it's like three months away, so Pioneer is going to be nothing like it is now. But might as well play test some decks and see what I like the most. One on bottom, one on top. I think we just reckless rage and push, right? Like, just kill his dude and just get this easy damage in. Always yield. Uh, do you want another Swift Spear? I don't think Swift Spear is bad. I don't think we want to be on Swift Spear right now. I think we want, like, any kind of thing that targets our dudes. Come on to 13. Next time we have Wars Charm. Come on to 11. Reflector Mage? No! Enter Sad Mode. Sad Mode has been entered. God, Deputy is so good. It's so good. I was going to F6 there, but I guess we might want to Boris Charm, so we can't F6. Who's not a Tulsa Spirit? Okay, he's just trying to click card. That's fine. I think our best draw is the plus one plus O draw card. Or Feather. We need something. We need something fast. Sure. Damn, that boar's trying that. That's not worth it. Also, I'm a firm believer, believer in these kind of decks. You just... You make them block. We don't lose anything by attacking there. Like... We lose nothing. Just, just make him do it. He's got the monument. And this is probably when we lose the game. God, that deputy. Both games he's won. It's been on the back of deputy. Deputy's so good. Ooh. Okay. We, we have a win lining up. We have a win lining up. This is only... One, two, six damage. So we need a little more... We need a little bit more help, but I can see a win with this. With God's Willing and Boris Charm and this dude. I can see a win. I can see it. We just need to get there now. Just no reflector. I mean, actually, reflector mage doesn't hurt us that bad. We just need, like, the plus one, plus oh. Draw a card into anything. All right, so he's got Reflective Mage for next turn. He's got a Selfless Spirit. This is all fine. This is all fine. We're going to take some damage here. That's also fine. He's tapped out. This is the time to do it. <sighs> okay, well, we can get two damage in here. No, I think we want to save it for our, when he tries to reflect Mage us. We'll just give it pro-white. Scry one and hopefully get the kill next turn. We can see it. Like The, the, the win is on the table. It is there. Now we just need to find it. Yes. That is okay. I think we give it pro blue here. So we don't care if he taps it, right? We, we don't care about that. That's fine. Let's give it pro blue. Plus one plus O. Oh, is that enough for lethal? Two, three, four, five, twelve. I think that will do it. I'm assuming we're not just dead here. I'm assuming we're not dead. I didn't do the math, but this is all a bunch of one ones. Okay. 
Okay, I think we got it. I think we did it. Unless I'm dumb again and I missed something. Attack creature gains a double strike. Pro white. He's got one mana. He's got one mana. What can he have? Protection from white, please. Uh, attack for 12? Oh, we found the line. I told you we had a line. We just had to get there. I told you we had a line. We just had to get there. That was hot. That was hot. So I, I, I love this deck. Like I, I'm a big, 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 big fan of Feather Heroic. In fact, just like put it all together and see if you win. It's really weird because in Modern, I play Jund. And in Legacy, I've always played Lands. So like... It's weird to be playing this like all-in aggro deck. My other two decks are like... The slow, grindy, control, take forever to win here. I'm just like, do you have it? It's great. It is so great. I'm so mad. I have zero trophies because I go 4-1 so often. 4-1 is close, but no cigar. We're on the draw for the first time in the league. Let's see how that affects us. Man, I rolled a two and he rolled a three. Oh, this is a good hand. God, there's just so many cards. I, I am 100% buying this deck after this video ends. I'm going to buy all these cards in pretty foils, have a nice and pretty foil, red, white, aggro deck for Pioneer, and just be happy. Uh, he mulled the six. We will keep our seven. So I think the the most damage is turn one Hoplite, turn two Swiss Spear into grid for battle, and swing in for three, six damage. I think that's the best line of attack. Are oh, we playing this mono green deck? Oh, is this the the the, the combo deck? Oh no, it's just a ramp deck. Okay. Okay. So yeah, next time Swiss Spear, good for battle. No second land. Oof. That is an oof for me. I'm gonna make my guys big. Big, 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 big. Swing on in there for six. Probably isn't gonna block, so he wants that grazer around for the bigger damage, not just for three. We put in the 14. Next turn we can grid again and Defiant Strike something. And yeah, he's just mana screwed. This is the worst way to lose magic. Even just like winning magic like this just feels man. Boop. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle this here for an extra card and extra two damage. Sister is probably like one of like the weaker cards in the deck, just because they don't keep their buff every turn. But uh, that is a should be a win at least. So you play tenth district, give this pro green, swinging for yeah, lethal. Oh, never mind. 
Never mind. I still think I just do the line I was saying, though. Uh, no, I think we just keep our gods willing, though. I think we keep... Because if we... This would be six damage with the gods willing. And this would be eight. So I don't think there's a reason. I think we just hold on to it for protection. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not lethal either. We'll just pass the turn back. If opponent can pull this off, I'll be very impressed with uh, him being screwed on lands for the first, like, three turns. Okay. Against the Rampy McGramp deck, I don't know if they have one mana dorks. They might, so this is a consideration. I don't know if we even want to really do anything against them. Maybe Swift Justice to make our dudes have first strike? Uh, this is pro black, pro red. Eh. Rest in peace. I don't think so. Pro black isn't that good. Maybe Boris Charm. Maybe Pithy Needle for their Planeswalkers if they have them. Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment. I don't think so. Like, I'm thinking maybe those two. Maybe. Maybe the Swift Justice. What, do you, what seems bad here? Does anything even seem bad? Like, maybe, like, I can see, like, Reckless Rage might not be good because I might not have enough. Like, things to kill. I could see bringing in these four, taking out these four. So I'm assuming their creatures are bigger. Maybe, like, leaving in two Reckless Rages. Going like that. I didn't really see much of their deck. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, I'll just submit this. Is anybody going to the Nerd Rage event on the, uh, what day even is this? January 11th to the 12th. It's Modern and Legacy. I will be there for both of them. I'll be playing Jund and Modern and Lands and Legacy. I'm excited for that. Nerd Rage always hosts amazing tournaments, and I'm always just, I always have a great time playing them, to be honest. I've been playing at Nerd Rage for, like, five, six years now. Glad to see their tournaments taking off and just being awesome. I should probably mute Facebook. There we go. Sorry about that ping. He is thinking he wants to keep them all. Well, he's thinking my voice want to go first, second. It's pretty an easy choice. Always go first. Yep, they chose to go first. Uh, this hand will be a mulligan. We have no one drop, no second land. That go through nothing. Okay, boop. Uh, I think we keep this hand. We have a way to draw another card. Opponent is on six as well. I think we are out of the Boris charm here. Keep the wild slash in case they have the like the land or well for Elvis Mystic or whatever. Uh, this might come back to bite us. To be honest, this might have been a bad card, but. Shall see. Alright, we drew a land. See, grid is that card that is really bad with only one creature. With one creature, it's so bad, but with two creatures, it's so good. It's just like it's again, it's on the fence. It's on that fence. I mean, I guess this can go face, right? And go upstairs makes it better. Uh, Defiant strike. I think I want a group of battle here too, just to get the extra two damage in. Turn two five five. That's all we got though, to be honest. That is all we got. No, not blast zone! Oh thank god. Oof. <laughs> Dude, blast zone is gonna mess us up though. Whenever he wants to, he can just pop that thing. Ooh, he whiffed. Oof. Opponent is not being lucky right now. I'm just gonna wild slash that. Play our land. Attack for four. We can attack for six here, but again, he's got blast zone up. 
You do not want to play into those blast zone shenanigans. Uh, switch your library for two basic forest cards. Reveal them put in your hand. Okay. A uh, one tap one in your hand. Got it. Got it. Okay, he's gonna play one and play one return. Grazer, sure. This is looking very bad. Feather was an amazing draw. Okay. I was gonna say we were doing pretty bad, but Feather makes us a lot more comfortable. So now we can dupe dupe. Ow. Uh, always yield, always yield. So like, if he blows up his blast zone to kill our Hoplite, that's okay because we have Feather alive now. And then Feather's gonna let us grid for battle every single turn. Now what you really want is the fight strike on Feather so you can do our turn, grid, their turn, grid, and you just get a huge hand so fast. Five, six mana. What creature are we going to play for six mana? Blah, blah, blah. If there's a battlefield, search your library for a land. That is... That's fine with us. He's going to have a six, six. What land is he getting? Uh, boop, boop. <sighs> Eight. That's nine damage. It's not lethal. We could make this guy pro green and attack with both, making him lose his hydro. Seems good. Uh, protection from green, please. Pithy needle. We could pithy needle blast zone. I don't think. I think. Nah, it's too good. I think. Alright. So we have pro green here. So we have to block here. I guess we'll play this land as well, just in case we need the mana. Get back grid, get black. God was willing. I don't see a way how we lose here, but I guess Ugin uh, makes it really hard for us. Because we can't God's willing and Ugin. Opponent is thinking. Always scared when they think. I, I honestly think if he fired off Blast Zone on like turn three, sure he would have been Dino Mana, but like that might have helped them out a lot. Opponent is still thinking. Guess it's time to scroll Twitter and wait. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Twitch yet, I try to stream on Twitch three days a week. Uh, my Twitter and Twitch are both the same. It's M O B O G S L Y. Uh, I normally don't stream magic, but I talk about magic a lot on stream and on Twitter. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, that'd be awesome. This might be when we go downstairs like fast get some more water because I ran out. I know while he's thinking, I will be right back and get some more water. Oh right, no, he's not thinking anymore. Never mind. He figured it out. He found the line. What is the line? Walking Ballista for three. Is confused. Grazer. Sure. So we still just win, right? I'm not, I'm not dumb. Make this guy pro green. He can't block it. Boop. Uh, we'll keep another grid for battle. Sure.
track with everything. We could have gave this pro green too, but again, there's no reason. This, this doesn't have reach. There's nothing you can do here. He just dies in the sky. Awesome. We got 3 and 0. Oh. 3 and 0. Oh. 3 and 0. Oh. 3 and 0. Oh. I guess I don't need water. We'll, we'll just survive. We're doing it. We are doing it. So much better than the last event when we uh, went. Um, we went one and four in the last event. So this three and zero is definitely building our confidence back up. Let's see if we can get our very first trophy. That'd be pretty exciting. Oh, they reprinted they reprinted Field of Ruin in Pioneer. I mean, not in Pioneer, in uh, Theros. The art looks so much cooler, too. Let me see if I can get this up for us. Uh, yeah, here we go. Look at this art. This art is sick. Big fan. Big fan of that art. Also, just a big fan of Field of Ruin. Such a great card. Okay, so we have two lands, nothing to cast, though. Let's mulligan. Two lands, lots of stuff to cast. What are we throwing back here? Let's just throw back the good for battle. Probably the worst card in this hand. Ooh, a mountain. We, oh, wait, I just realized this is tapped. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. This thing doesn't bolt this or shock this, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we're playing this mono red deck. Oh, mono red dragons. Dargons. Okay. Uh, let's just play this and get some more damage in. Big fan of Thunder Break Regent, by the way. This card is awesome. This is such a cool design. He's got another kill spell. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, let us play... Oh, we can't play Feather, because that enters tapped. I am not a fan of the enter tapped lands in this deck. I guess, I guess it shouldn't enter tapped very often, but when it does, man, does it feel bad. Chandra! Opponent, can you please stop playing all my things? Pretty please. But do you have another kill spell? Please, no. Pleasurino. No more kill spells. Because uh, we could hop white. Oh, Fanatic Amogus. This is a sweet deck. This is a sweet deck. So that will ping us for three damage. Put us on the nine if he wants to play it, that is. It looks like he does. Good news is we have the Reckless Rage Feather Combo online, which means we can Reckless Rage every turn. Yeah, let's talk it like that. Always yield, always yield. Let's uh, let's kill Chandra here because free cards is not fun for us. Then second main will just grid for battle. Um, now, whatever he play, if he plays this way, Reckless Rage, it, sure, we take three, get on to six, but this looks like a great spot for us. Reckless Rage is such a, such a good card. Such a good card. We basically have them in, like, a hard lock right now where they need to kill Feather. I guess it's a soft lock, right? Because if they kill Feather, they're, they can play stuff. And until then, anything with toughness for or less just buffs our dude and it gets killed. Uh, next turn, we have 5, we have 11, maybe 12 or 13 damage, depending on what he does. Uh, cause we play something, this gets bigger, and then we can do it again and group for battle. We place two things.
opponent is thinking. They have found the line in this roast star dude. Yep, that works. Roast works. And second main goblin, sure. So this will end up dealing two to me. Maybe now the eight. His last card is Sunday Break. We're gonna hold on to this battlefield for it just so he doesn't know we have it. Swing for five. Put him down to 12. We are at seven ourselves. Let's put us on the four. Yep, we'll go to four. Ouch. He is in top deck mode, though. Oh, we missed the damage here. No! That messes up. Uh, I'm so bad at this game. Right, if we lose next turn by one damage, I will cry. It shouldn't matter, though, because we'll, we'll be the same either way, but that was a mistake. I should have buffed it and then attacked for one. I just hit okay. Alright. That should be fine. Because it does not have flying. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess the mono red deck. We definitely want these boys. These uh, Feed Slayer Paladins. Uh, Swift Justice seems good because we got pretty low that game. Maybe Boris time for more protection because they got a lot of kill spells. Wild Slash seems bad. Looks like they don't have many small things, so we'll take out Wild Slash. Um, again, I always like to take out at least one to two Titan Strains, so just we're fine. We're fine with that gacha card, but that's all in my opinion. They got another good for battle. Uh, that's actually not bringing all the Boris charms. I think three's enough. Let's go like this. I don't see how they beat a Fiend Slayer Paladin, though. Because they are mono red, and they just can't target it. We just make it huge. It's been a fun league so far. A lot of, like... I'm glad we didn't just face, like, the same model black deck five times in a row or whatever. It's nice to see, like, different decks. We keep the train rolling. This mono red deck seems sweet, though, and I really want to try this deck out next. Let's mulligan this. Uh, we have a one drop with buff spells. If he kills it... I think we're going to play it on turn two. Just because we really need it alive. Because of that, we'll keep Cliff Trap Retreat and play it untapped. Kind of wish I played a turn one now because we drew that, but we just got to try to play around the kill spells. Uh, Mega Treasure. Well, that's cool. Nice little ramp spell from the opponent. Uh, let's just play Stress Spear. Last one I said I want to hold up God's Willing for it, but since we drew the Arcanist, we just find strike and get that three damage in. Hopefully draw land here. Top light is also good though. Ryle might be able to sneak some damage in with Trample. That's sorcery though, I just realized that. That's upsetting. He has access to four mana. Oh, that with Nyctos is going to be... Oh, no. Oh, no. What four drop is he playing here? Okay, we, we should have left the shocks in. We should have left the shocks in. 
what does uh, only activate if you have total power eight or greater? Okay. Let's just play Dreadhorde. He's only got two cards in hand. Let's just hope this Dreadhorde can live. Note to self, bring the shock back in. Shocks are fine in this matchup. Got access to six mana here. Why do you think one damage off his land? Can't he just tap it for colorless and not take damage? Another Wily Goblin. Okay, that's fine. So I got two cards left. I'm okay with just a bunch of one ones. Oh no, we had it. Mizium Mortars. That's a cool card. I don't know what we can draw here to get out of this, but. His favorite hoplite do it. He's got no cards in hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can start making four fours. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage next turn. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage next turn with if he just buffs us the whole time. I think I'm okay with just playing two hoplites here and just seeing what happens. Okay, so what you got? This technically you can block two of the goblins if you need. I right, drew another ruins. Are they just gonna make yeah, two dragons? They'll probably be the end of us. Man, their deck changed so much after game one. I don't think I tell you what the Wily Goblin series, correct? I think you want the devotion. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, well, let's see what we can draw. It is not going to be enough. Okay. GG's. Definite GG's. Let's take out at least one more Boris Charm. Five again, two wild slashes. Take out another Titan Strength. That should be fine. That should be fine. That was, uh, we just got beat down so hard. Man. First time on the play against his opponent. And this hard is slow. This hand is slow. This hand is slow. But we have Fiend, so Fiend Slayer Paladin. Is that good enough to keep? Is that good enough to keep? I don't think so. Maybe? I, I think we gotta keep it. I think we keep it. This is a very, like, sketchy hand. Like, doing nothing till turn three with this deck seems wrong. But. You return opponent. Yeah, you, you, you can't target this guy. I guess if it's like anger the gods, you can still kill it. Uh, but. Oh, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. Add two mana for only dragons. Do we want to kill this? I think we want to kill that, don't we? I think we just send this at Sarkin, send this at Sarkin, send this at face. We have gods willing to save one of these two guys if he tries to kill him. Or save this guy if we need to. Chandra, sure. Chandra minus. How about we say no to that? Pro Red, please. Dread Horde Arcanist is good enough to be on top.
This at Shadra, this at you, this at you. We have a very slow start right now, but it's just a very, like, don't kill my stuff hand, which seems to be working pretty well. Uh, next, we can give our whole entire team indestructible, and then see if it works. Man, game two is was so different from game one and game three. It's like they completely changed Dex out of this game too. Which I think is sweet. I love when Dex can have like the super fast openers, or, like the very controlling openers. Uh, we'll try to protect it. And I guess we get F6 here because we can't do anything else. If you've got two kill spells for our Arcanist, it means the rest of our board survives and I'm okay with that. Alright. That's fine with me. That's a good draw. That was a really good draw. He's down it to eight. If he taps off our creature, we can just kill it and win. That's not the creature I'm talking about, though. That's not a creature that we want to just straight up kill. That's fine. I think I'm gonna do this on our turn. Get the damage off of our guys. Uh, let's go four and two. Uh, feather. Do we have any? I think we leave him feather on top, even though we have no spells for feather. Let's so see can block one. If we block him, we just kill him with everything else. Right? Three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Okay, 4-0, can we get the trophy? Can we get the trophy? For once in my life, can we get the trophy? We are going for the trophy here. We will finally be on the board. We'll be down here with everybody else on the one trophy board. Can we do it? And we do it with Feather. Is Feather the hidden sleeper deck that everybody wants? Or is Feather just a 4-1 deck? Mull Drifter. Let's do it, Mull Drifter. Show me what you got. We rolled a 2, they rolled a 5. This hand is great. Turn one uh, hoplite into turn two arcanist, I think, depending on what they're doing. Are we just with spear and titan strength for a ton of damage? Another red deck. We started on a swift spear. I think against the red deck, we want to do the same. I just they, they have more like chance to kill a hoplite in a red deck. They have like shock and all that stuff. Maybe attacking those bad. I don't think we have a block there either. Stop. That's kind of mean. Okay. I played the mountain that turn, by the way, just to like try to cover up that we're playing white as well. I'd say no. Technically, it would be better to play this to have, you know, more chances to draw something like this, but. So this is a straight up mono red aggro. A red deck will be leaving this stage undefeated. Which red deck it is, nobody knows. Another stomp. We will say no. Does he have another? He does not. It feels so bad to use this defensively. Uh, yeah, that's good. Whatever that on top. God's willing would have been better there because it would have countered it, but it's fine. Uh, I think I attack for here. Mm. 
Do I think attack him for two? Leave this guy back on defense. I do not want to auto yield. That was bad. I'm so used to this F6 scene when I play aggro decks, but like I, I can't. I always need to uh, keep my answers up. So I, I played this over this. Just the fact that we can scry and stuff if we attack. It's a counter. Next time we play this and start going to town. Might not have been the optimal line, but it's the one I chose. He's just playing the Bone Crusher? Sure. Hop Light is fine, but not gonna have to cast this turn. I think we just do this and pass. I don't want to tap out. Like I always say, you never want to tap out. Leave your uh, combat tricks up to protect whatever you need to. He's moving to combat. A... I think we just double block here and make him act first. I'm okay with training one for one here. If he wants to just like kill our hoplite, that's fine with me. If he wants to kill our 10th district legion, that's also fine with me. Sure. Uh, so we can go Hoplite, Hoplite, Flashback, Titan Strength in this guy, and get in there for 4 damage. I know they don't like Titan Strength in these aggro versus aggro matchups, but I think it's great here. Boop. You take two, sir, or a madam. Don't want to assume. Uh, yeah, let's just play the Dreadhorde here. Okay, we are officially tapped out for once. Oh, the noise was. <sighs> what you got? Show me what you got, got, got. Show me what you got, got, got. That's fine. I'm willing to trade this Arcanist for a spell. The second Arcanist is always a lot worse, especially with our graveyard. Alright, so he's just going to try to shock for it. Eidolon! <laughs> That's just mean. I think we attack here. And then we can, uh... We can double Titan Strength this right now. That make us take four. Taking four to deal seven, I think, is worth it. It's rough. We're down to 11 here, but I think it's uh, I think it's a good game plan. Wild Slash on top, please. Put it on to 11. Like I said, it's fine. We were going to put it on to 7. Put it on top so we can double slash him next turn as well if we need to. Uh, we'll just pass the turn. I don't think it's worth taking two to play these hoplites, though. I don't want to get too low against him. Light up the stage. Yeah, you get a five. 
you go to four or less, we kill you. Lightning Strike and Bomat Carrier. I guess if he goes land, Lightning Strike our dude. He goes to three, we can't actually kill him then. Uh, he was still, he's still, he's still going to be so low. He's going to kill that dude? We're not dead, right? No, we're not dead. Okay, it looks like we win then. This is a really good game, though. A really interesting game. Right. So against Tim, we want Fiend Slayer Paladins again. Swift Justices again. Uh, Wild Slashes. I don't think Forest Charm is exactly where we want to be. Uh, there's another card. I don't like Titan Strength. Like, Titan Strength worked out great that game, but I don't think it's where we want to be. Uh, what else do we not really care about? I'm okay with taking out all the, uh, all the Boris Charms. That's fine. They don't they seem, like, that great in this matchup. We got uh, four cards to give us lifelink. Two cards I just don't think they can beat if we get to resolve them. Two kill spells, so. Yeah. And also, I use one of those rental sites online, and just like the whiteboard and battlefield forages are just, they're, they're something, all right. Good thing about playing these aggressive decks on Moto is you can get through leagues like that. The bad thing about playing these decks in paper is you finish win or lose in five minutes and you're just like, well, what do I do now? Uh, we keep this hand. He mulled the six. This hand is great. We have a kill spell. We have two threats for a turn one and like if we draw a land, we have another threat. So yeah. If one of our dudes live, we have a billion kill spells. If they don't live, we have more threats. Uh, let's play the Swift Spear into his shock if he has it. No shock. Okay. Maybe he has Lightning Strike then. I don't see the Swift Spear living. Oh, Searing Blood. That's legal in the format? Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's play Half Light then. Okay, like I said, I'm not a big... Very big red players. So I don't know all the kill spells that are removal that are in it. Soul Scar Mage, sure. Wild Slash, sure. Uh, let's just hope he doesn't have a thing to play at instant speed to give that thing prowess. Alright. He's got two cards and three lands versus our one land and six cards. This game can go any way at this point. It just depends if we draw lands or not, I would say. He's got light up the stage. It's the one card I was like, please don't have. Uh, magma Spray can only hit creatures, though. So we don't want to play our Hoplite. I think we just Defiant Strike to try to uh, find a land here. Good news, he only has one card in hand. Now he has two. Uh, he does have two creatures, though. Come on, land. Okay, we gotta land. We are officially in it to win it now. Just gotta hope that last spell is not a kill spell. Woo! Roast. Okay. I look like two here, I guess. Land. Not a land. 
Are we on blocking duty here? I don't think we block here ever, so then we attack. I don't think there's a reason where we ever block there, because we just get blown out by any spell. Yeah, he's got Wild Slash, might as well attack there. And if we draw a land, we can Reckless Rage our 10th District Legionnaire to kill that. Uh, or that works too. Trying to one drop also is good. Do you have another kill spell, sir? He does not. Maybe a sorcery kill spell? He stomped my face. Ow. He skewered my face. We were at two. I think we'd have fired strike. Let's, oh my god. I think we attack for two and leave Tentish. No, I think we leave Favorite Half Life back to block if he draws a hasty creature. And we. Yeah, because he blocks better. Next time we can go grid grid and try to end this game quickly. He plays the Bone Crusher. Let's defiant this. We get a scry one, then draw a card. That was the best card we could find there. I'm attacking like this, so uh, if he attacks, we have the bigger dude to give lifelink to. This does make us lose to like a burn spell off the top, but I think think we want the combat trick to block the Bone Crusher Giant. Like, I could be wrong here. Maybe just playing around the Burn Spell off the top is better. But I think making this guy a 5-4 and then gaining life is better. Gain 5 life and kill your dude. Uh, Lion seems great. Okay, we can triple a grid for battle next turn, I think just win, because it's plus six plus six in both of our guys. Found a monastery mentor. So we can block one of our guys. I think we just rumble. I guess like I guess like the plain safe line is just play this, right? Um I guess we'll just play safe here. Maybe he's looking crazy yet. Now next turn it's like just yeah. I really wanted to chill a grid for battle these guys and just make him huge, but he just blocks one and then gets really low. I think doing this is the same effect, just safer. Maybe not. He's got two cards in hand. I like this one mismatch basic. I can't really complain because I have a mismatch basics too. I just I honestly like mismatching basics a lot more than having all the same because I like appreciating all the art. And like I know technically playing all the same lands is better but I feel it's more like just magical to have every single basic be a different art just because it's cool to see all the different landscapes you can draw from. Roast, sure. Not gonna block this, yeah, that's fine. Do you have to deal five to us? Do we just like throw the game? We got a one. Okay, we're fine. Or right, not gonna one? I don't know, I can't do math. Oh, because he has to kill it. Oh, if it doesn't kill it, I don't take the three. Okay, okay. We got the trophy! We got the trophy! We did it! We're officially 
on the board. Eleven of these bad boys as well. Whatever these qualifier points do, I don't play enough moto and the hunt. Guys, like, subscribe, share the video, comment, I don't know. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I will be making more Pioneer videos soon. Hopefully at least like twice a week I want to try to upload. And my content will hopefully get better and better. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys don't like in the videos. Yeah, I will see you guys next time.